Lithuania bluntly rejects Russia's order to arrest an exiled ally of Alexei Navalny, says it raises doubts about Russia. Here's a summary of the article. Moscow, a Moscow court on Wednesday ordered the arrest of a top ally of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny, but Lithuania, where the associate lives, bluntly rejected the demand to take him into custody. The action against Leonid Volkov by the Basmani District Court was seen as part of an effort by authorities to squelch demonstrations demanding the release of Navalny, a top Kremlin foe who has been jailed since January 17. Volkov, a chief strategist for Navalny, was charged with encouraging minors to take part in unauthorized rallies, which could land him in jail for up to three years. Navalny, 44, an anti corruption investigator who is Russian President Vladimir Putin's most prominent critic, was arrested upon returning from Germany, where he spent five months recovering from a nerve agent poisoning that he blames on the Kremlin. Protests across Russia drew tens of thousands of people to the streets for two straight weekends in January in the largest show of discontent in years. More protests rocked Moscow and St. Petersburg after a Moscow court on February 2 sentenced Navalny to two years and eight months in prison for violating terms of his probation while recuperating in Germany. Navalny's arrest and the crackdown on protests has further stoked tensions between Russia and the West. The United States and the European Union have urged Russia to release Navalny, but the Kremlin has accused them of meddling in Russia's internal affairs and warned that it won't listen to Western criticism of Navalny's sentencing and police actions against his supporters. This post received a score of 14,000, with an upvote ratio of 98%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Russia has whole bunch of people whom it refuses to extradite to Lithuania. So I doubt Russia had any illusions about Lithuania's willingness to hand over anyone and especially this one person. Of course not. It's just the beginning of a pretext for invasion. Invasion? No way. FSB kidnapping and or assassination op? Definitely a possibility. Since it's a NATO country, Russia can't attack without being crushed like a bug by its partners. With Trumpy gone NATO is back in full force. The Russian military is still too busy dealing with Russians to take on an invasion of a NATO ally. Putty talks tough even when he's powerless. They said no and Putty can't do shit about it. When you're weak, feign strength. When you're strong, feign weakness. The wise Sun Tzu. And he knows a little more about fighting than you do pal because he invented it. And then he perfected it so that no living man could best him in the ring of honor. Then he used his fight money to buy two of every animal on earth. And then he herded them onto a boat, and then he beat the crap out of every single one. My he 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 hey. And from that day forward any time a bunch of animals are together in one place it's called a zoo. Unless it's a farm. Dear Russia, go fuck yourself. Sincerely, the entire Baltic region. Open mouth smile. And me. And me. As a Lithuanian, fuck Putin. As a Russian, I agree. FSB would like to know your location. Well done, Lithuania. Not a first person Lithuania took in to protect from Russia and other similar countries. People in all three Baltic states are very aware of the threat Russia represents. Putin is not going to just up and invade a NATO country anytime soon, but there is definitely long-term concern. My parents be like. Baltic countries don't like Russians. Of course they don't. Like, it's so understandable why. Oh God, will something here finally change? With condolences and love from Moscow smiley face. It's almost like when you invade various nations and then subjugate them to your rule for nearly half a century, it leaves a long-lasting impression. Russia, hand over that guy. Lithuania, hand over those 20 and we'll think about it. Russia, no. Lithuania, all right, go fuck a bear then. Hey, why you always telling me to go fuck a bear? Our 12 points goes to Lithuania. Lithuania. Half Lithuanian here. Good job. Now just keep him alive. Were you cut in half vertically or horizontally? Take it you deserve it. Or shucks. Thanks half Lithuanian buddy. Half seas stay together. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.